This is the third in a series of videos explaining why ClickHouse is fast. In this video, we're going to learn how ClickHouse's merge time computation pushes data transformation work off the read and write critical parts. So again, we have ClickHouse running and we import one batch of records that each have a primary key and a numeric column value. And then we insert another batch of records after that one. Now ClickHouse creates parts from each batch of rows. In the background, our merge process kicks into action. And the most common table engine is MergeTree. And with this engine, the new part will contain each record from the merged parts. But there are other table engines. One of these is the replacing merge tree table engine, where on each merge, it will take just the latest version per key. So in this example, the first versions of keys one and two go away. ClickHouse also supports time to live, which is again done at merge time. So in this example, let's say our first record has expired. So that goes away and the new part only contains the other records. Let's imagine we have another table and it has some inserts coming in. Again, parts are created for each batch. This time we're using the aggregating merge tree engine. And this engine, as the name suggests, aggregates the values for matching keys. So again, we have one copy of each primary key, but we sum the numeric values for rows that had the same key. So the main takeaway across all these three examples, so replacing merge tree, time to live and aggregating merge tree is that the data transformation work is done in the background as part of the merge process. The work on the right path is kept intentionally light and efficient, which means ClickHouse has very high write throughput. And once the merges are complete, our queries will be able to access those newly transformed parts.